annual Vanity Fair Hollywood issue is out again, and there is some controversy, not so much about who is on the cover, but really about who isn't. McCullough Medina joins us from the newsroom with more on that. Mac? Anna, this is a buzzing story. The cover of the Hollywood issue is meant to highlight the hot, white-hot actors and actresses of the moment, right? Problem is, most are white, hardly any people of color, for the second year in a row. One, two, three, four. You're looking at the behind-the-scenes video of the Hollywood issue. Now look closely at the actual cover, featuring what the magazine calls the most exciting actors and actresses of the moment. My th first thought was, oh, here they go again. None of it excites Guy Aoki. Vanity Fair doesn't get excited by anything except white actors. Aoki heads Mana Media Watchdog Group and is disappointed that Vanity Fair again lacks diversity in its Hollywood issue. I think they're, they're holding on to the old-fashioned part of Hollywood, which does not acknowledge that uh, the population is changing. And unless people get more people of color in television and movies, they're going to lose audiences. Last year, this was Vanity Fair's Hollywood issue. Nine young starlets dubbed the future of Hollywood. Very little diversity. I don't think they think necessarily about racial balance. They just probably go, you know, with whoever, they, whoever floats their boat. This year, there were at least two people of color. Anthony Mackie from last year's Hurt Locker movie and Rashida Jones from NBC's Community. Gawker.com points out it's actually only 1.5 ethnic actors. Jones is biracial. Commenters on Vanity's own website write this, quote, Vanity is not fair, only when it wants to be. Like Hollywood does best, they show the white talent because these are the only talent you should know exists. Is Vanity Fair just putting on their cover the reality of Hollywood? On one hand, it is reflecting reality in that people of color don't get a chance to really show their stuff. And on the other hand, I think it is Vanity Fair's fault because they have a reputation for mostly fo focusing on white people on their covers. Yeah. So no official word from Vanity. They didn't return any of our phone calls or emails. Meantime, lots of talk online, even on the website. A lot of people saying they're not surprised, but they are disappointed. I'll post more details and a picture of that on my Facebook page over Macalo NBCLA. Back to you guys.